What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different kind of video for you, it's something that um, I've never done anything really like this on my channel, um, but I thought it would be a good idea. So today is, what is the date? I don't even know what the date is, I'm a mess. It's Thursday the 8th of March and it is International Women's Day. Um, I've seen this all over every social media, people spreading the love, so um, I thought I would do my little bit. So, my video is my top 10 most inspiring female YouTubers that I watch on a daily basis and people that have um, inspired me in a rude <laughs> people that have inspired me in various ways um, and this is kind of like a yeah I feel like um, YouTube is a very competitive place um, along with Instagram and maybe not snapchat but social media is a really competitive place and while there's loads and loads of positives to it I think there's a lot of um, people tearing each other down and trying to be better than and comparing themselves to and we're all guilty of comparing ourselves to people but I thought I would make a video lifting people up and sharing with you guys different people that I find really really inspiring. So I'm going to start at number 10 and work the way up to number 1. Um, so the first person on my list, so number 10 in my most inspiring YouTubers is Emily Boo. So she's from the UK like me, I'm pretty sure I've spoken about her in um, some of my other videos. I've been watching her for probably a good two years now. I don't remember how I first found her, she must have just come up as a suggested video or something. But um, I think she's so cute, her daughter is the cutest little thing. Um, I just think she's so lovely and the reason she made it onto this list is that um, so recently YouTube changed their rules and regulations on having your videos monetized. So it went from all you had to get was I think it was like 100,000 channel views or something, 10,000 channel views, I don't remember. You had to hit a certain threshold of channel views until you could become monetized and that was it. That was all you had to do. So I hit that, everything was good, but then they suddenly changed it. Um, it was in January, I think they changed it. So the cutoff point was, I think it was the 20th of February, you had to gain I think it was a thousand subscribers you had to have over 4,000 minutes of watch time and there was just loads and loads of silly little things that you just suddenly had to do to uh, get monetized so loads and loads of small youtubers were gonna lose out I nearly lost my monetization feature um, loads of people were faced with the shittiness of YouTube and Emily Boo uh, made a, I think it was an Instagram post, and she said, anyone who's a small YouTuber who's going to suffer from uh, YouTube's new feature or regulation change, comment your YouTube name below, I'll follow you or subscribe to you, and I'll put your videos in a playlist and I'll start watching your videos and I will get your views up, hopefully get some subscribers up to help you guys. Of course she's not the biggest YouTuber in the world, she's not got the most millions and thousands of subscribers, but she is the sweetest person. I didn't see any other YouTubers doing this, I didn't see anyone else looking out for the smaller YouTubers, anyone that I watch anywhere. I mean it may have happened in other communities, I don't know, but the ones that I saw. Emily Boo was the only one I saw who stepped up to help out the smaller YouTubers and that is just so, like it's, it's a selfless thing isn't it, she's not gaining anything from it, but I just thought it was so so sweet. So that is why she's made it to number 10 on my list. I love Emily Boo. <laughs> okay, so number nine is Nisi. So again, Nisi is another UK subscriber. I think she's only a couple of years older than me, maybe even one or two years, I'm not sure. Um, she lives further north than I do, not entirely sure where, but yes, um, I have been watching her videos probably a good four or five years. I know I definitely still lived at home and I've been moved out for over three years now. So yeah, um, she. I first found her when she was like a scene queen and she dyed her hair and it was all big and um, I just thought she was so cool. And then I've watched her like progress through the years. She's not afraid to talk about anything on her channel. She's really, really down to earth. She's just so pleasant. And she is a independent woman. Like I'm being serious here, she is an independent woman and I just think she's really, really inspiring. So um, yeah, that's why Nisi made it to number nine. I think she's really cute, really funny and hella inspiring. So definitely check her out. 
oh my god this is gonna be a long video so number eight on my list is Tori or biohazardous beauty um, you can take a look at her all the links for all of these people will be below their YouTube and their Instagram because that's the only places I really follow people on but yeah they'll be linked below so she has two channels she has her main channel and a vlog channel I mainly stick to watching the main channel I wish I had time to watch everyone's vlogs but sadly I don't um, so she's made it to number eight because she is such a friendly person I have recreated a couple of her looks or I've done something slightly inspired by her or I've tagged her in things and every single time she's liked the comment she's replied she's thanked me I did a um, my dissertation was on the gothic subculture and how it's been appropriated by kind of like celebrity culture and I asked her if I could ask her a couple of questions, she was more than happy to, she responded to me, she is just so sweet and so lovely, her videos are amazing and her makeup tutorials are so inspiring, so I would definitely check her out, she has a cool little collection of videos, so she'll do like a singles cruise, um, where she'll use her little single shadows that she doesn't really use often, or she'll do like the, um, palette is it palette bingo I don't I don't know what it's called but she has loads of fun little series on her channel that are not only do you learn makeup techniques but you also enjoy watching so I would definitely check her out I think she's really sweet number seven on my list is grace or dangerous person so she is an American youtuber I'm pretty sure she's from Texas um, and I first found her through the uh, collaboration channel, The Non Blondes. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, it didn't exist for very long, but when it did, it was super cute and I was obsessed with it. Um, so she is super, super cute. Her style is just really pastel and colourful and cute. Um, all of just like her feeds, like Snapchat and Instagram, everything's just really like aesthetic and cute to look at. Um, and she's such a lovely person. In her vlogs, she's so real, so interesting, and she has really cool and interesting views on different things and I just think she's on a day when you don't really have a lot to do and you're just chilling on the couch if you watch her vlogs they're really uplifting and really happy um, she's not afraid to talk about mental health and things like that on her channel and I just think she's so nice and so down to earth and just inspiring in like the, the positivity she instills in other people she's really really sweet so again definitely check her out number six on my list is Belle Jordan So she is a UK YouTuber, um, she's from, I think she said she's from Brighton and moved to London, I'm not sure but I know she's moving to Canada so we're losing a great YouTuber here. <laughs> um, yeah, she's so cool. So I found her not that long ago, maybe three, four months ago, maybe a bit longer than that. Um, and she came up as a suggested video, it was her Slay the Prom Queen tutorial and I thought who is this? She's so cool. And I watched her video and I've just become obsessed ever since. I think she's incredible. My makeup today is inspired by her. I followed one of her tutorials. I just think the things she does with makeup are just so gorgeous. Like I'm not one for huge big beauty gurus. I don't watch all the millions of, I don't watch all the big gurus with millions of subscribers. Not for any particular reason, just that none of them have ever really appealed to me or it hit home with me. There's just certain people that I just really feel like a connection to, so like Belle Jordan, I just think she's so pretty, so gorgeous. Her tattoos are insane and her talent for makeup is incredible. She's such a lovely person if you keep up with her updates on Twitter and stuff, I just think she's so sweet. So that's why she made it to number six. Number five on my top 10 most inspiring female YouTubers is Sarah Hawkinson. Um, I've been following Sarah, I, I couldn't even tell you how long. It's been a seriously long time and she is how I found the non-blondes, the collaboration that are no longer there anymore. Um, so through her I found loads of YouTubers, like loads, I found a couple of YouTubers like Grace and then there's Erica the gothic sprite. Um, but focusing on Sarah, she is just, I don't even know how to describe her, she's just such a, a positive, uplifting, she really wants to help other people and she's such a, she has such a passion for mental health awareness and giving people a proper understanding of what it is. Um, so she has, I want to say three channels, maybe two. There's a horror channel, I think a vlog one, maybe, and then her 
ordinary channel um so she does like makeup and fashion psychology videos she's just so interesting she has so much knowledge and she's not afraid to speak her mind but also she's not afraid to correct herself and say i made this mistake this is what i've done about it i apologize she's just so real um and i think her whole view on mental health awareness is what brought her to number five in my list i think she's doing a damn good job so if you feel passionate about mental health too then definitely check her out number four on my top 10 most inspiring youtubers list is the kat von d artistry collective so it's a bit of a cheat here it's all four artists in one kelsey leah tara and stephanie is it tara tara i don't know how you pronounce it all four of them um whenever i feel a little bit low or i feel like i don't have any motivation i like to watch their their first videos they uploaded the ones where each individual person like does their makeup on a model um there's no specific theme they just kind of go for it and they talk about their art and their drive and oh my god, nothing makes me feel more inspired than watching those videos. I just feel like I want to create and I want to have fun and just be inventive and it's all down to those videos. So if you're ever having like a down day and you want to just see some amazing art, definitely check out the Kat Von D Artistry Collective. And also a little kind of side thing, Kat Von D herself is just one of the most inspiring women I've ever come across i think she's incredible inspiring people to go vegan to go cruelty free and to just put a little bit, little bit more thought into every day number three on my list is kelly eden um i don't i think i found her through um i was searching for like gothic room tours or gothic house tours and she uploaded i think it was her ex-boyfriend she did like a house tour of his like goth style house and that's how I found her and I started watching her videos and I go through little periods where I'm obsessed with different people recently it's been Kelly Eden I'll just watch all of her videos non-stop I think her makeup's cute her style's cute my favorite video of hers is her draw my life video every time I watch it I cry she just has like such an amazing story to tell and you can see how she's just taken life and just gone with it and gone out to live her dreams and it's just oh my god it's so cute it gets me so emotional so if you're looking for an emotional video definitely watch that one I just think she's so nice and so cute I've been saying this about everyone but they're all so cute um yeah I think Kelly's an amazing person and she's not afraid again to talk about depression anxiety anything like that um I just think she's a really really sweet person number two on my list is Monami Frost Um, I'm sure all you guys know who she is. Um, she is hella tattooed, hella gorgeous, one of the sweetest people I've ever seen and um, her daughter is hella cute too um, and I just love the way that she's so, she's just such a caring, generous person. She definitely has a really like motherly kind of vibe. Um, she's like edgy and cool but she's also just so sweet. Um, all her like vegan cooking videos and what I eat in a day they really really helped when me and Jake were trying to transition from like dairy and meats into um, vegan or vegetarian lifestyle and cutting out dairy and stuff like that so it's really really helpful her cookbook is so good we make at least two or three recipes like every week it's just so good um, yeah so I definitely recommend Monami Frost she's just incredible so the number one on my list my favorite youtuber in the world i haven't subscribed to for that long i'd say it's probably a year in comparison to like all the other people who i have watched for a while um i've only really been subscribed to her very recently but she's made such a huge impact and it is geordie or it's like the makeup She is my favourite YouTuber ever, I just think she's so inspiring. So she's a mum of two, she lives in Canada and she is just so cute. Her looks are so creative, she does everything from like soft glam, natural beauty to insane transformations. Her Lana Del Rey transformation was amazing. <laughs> um, I've done so many looks inspired by her, learnt so many cool techniques through her and every time she uploads I'm like She's bringing out a brush collection this Saturday, so I'm 100% going to be getting that. I don't even care how much it is, I'm buying it. It's a collaboration with Furless. Shameless plug, buy her brushes, 
I don't care, she's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think she's insanely inspiring. She's such a positive person and she's so real and raw in her videos. I think that's something all of the um, people on this list have in common. They're all so raw, they're so real, they're not fake in any way. I think any kind of YouTuber who comes across as a bit fake, I'm just like, bye. <laughs> but yeah, um, so she's made the list or she's top of the list because she's just incredible. Um, during the, the NYX Face Awards, I'm pretty sure she won the most inspiring from that little group and I was like, agree, applause, yes, go Geordie, go. It was on, I think in the UK, it was like three in the morning or something, so I set my alarm so I could sit up and watch it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a big supporter of Geordie. So yeah, that is my top 10 most inspiring YouTubers. I've also got a couple of like honourable mentions um, of people who I also find really, really inspiring. So obviously it's Black Friday. She was, her and Toxic Tears were the two main forces into helping me or allowing me to become me, to be goth and to be open about it and to not be afraid and not care what other people think and to help me through my questionable baby bat phase. So those two definitely make the list. There's also Lilithus Bones or Ava, um, a UK YouTuber. She's so sweet and so nice and she really is like, she's mega down to earth. She does not care what anyone thinks. She's really cute. Also, there's a lot of YouTubers, a lot of inspiring women. Let me know down below in the comments who your favourite or most inspiring YouTuber is. I would love to know and check out their channel because I could always do it with a bit of extra positivity in my life. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to film and to just talk and talk and talk about all the people who are so nice and inspiring. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.